Are you kidding? Not focused on that one. Welcome to another video. My name is Jared Watney. I create social media content for super yachts and I fly bush planes around South Africa when I'm not sailing the seas. Fun fact, the Skillshare ad I'm about to do pays for 60 plus of these cans. Each can represents about an hour and a bit of flying. So if you ever wonder why YouTubers do what they do, it enables us. Thanks Skillshare. Lock and load. All right, a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes for creative and curious people. I've explained to you many times how I use the Skillshare platform to be able to further my skills in my filmmaking career. Everything from learning how to do Photoshop for my thumbnails all the way through to After Effects. This is the platform I use to be able to further those skills because people lay out the information in a really easy to learn manner and they know what they're talking about. One of the courses I'm really excited about at the moment is done by MKBHD. He's a massive creator on YouTube and he talks about his entire filmmaking process from scripts all the way through to the editing process and it's something that I myself am actually going through as we speak. If you're not into the filmmaking process, I still highly recommend you have a look at Skillshare. There's plenty of courses about all aspects of creativity all the way through to productivity. The first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link in the description down below will get 30% off their annual premium membership. Even if you've made use of a free Skillshare trial, you can still use this offer to be able to get an entire year of unlimited learning on the Skillshare platform. Skillshare, I've briefly touched on how your sponsorships help me. Thank you for sponsoring my videos. Now let's go fly. And plane is light, tail up. Brake sign of carriage master on, mags on, temperatures and pressures are all in the green. I don't know how many of you guys can say that you genuinely love where you live, but I come up here to this little farm strip, slide open these hangar doors, and I feel like the luckiest guy on earth. As for where I live, well, let me show you. Unbelievable is this? So this little town that I'm flying into now is called Sedgefield. It's right on the lake here, it's surrounded by mountains on the north, the beach on the south, uh, and it's it's very small town community, and this is literally where I grew up. I'm going to fly you over pretty much where my small town, I think from the age of two all the way up to 18, where I grew up. This little rock right in the middle of the, the ocean over here is uh, called Herricus Point. We used to walk along this beach that's directly below us now. Uh, walk along here and literally go for surfs, just my brother and I. Almost nobody in the water most of the time, so a very special and dear place to me is uh, this Herricus Point rock that is directly below us. So this is uh, where I learned to drive a car, where I learned to drive a motorbike and where I spent my, um, my weekends pretty much all the way through my childhood. beach now 
are coming up below me. Uh, I'm still pretty low, 400 foot now. Uh, this little beach coming up just around the corner is called Buffalo Bay. That's where I learned to surf. It's where Rebecca's learned to surf. Uh, this is a place that we spend a lot of time. Okay, so this little place just behind this mountain that we're about to fly through, pretty much, uh, is um, the Nizer Heads, the place everybody that comes to the garden route has to come and look at. There's a little restaurant there right on the water, and you get to look out this insane inlet into um, one of the most beautiful lagoons in this country, and uh, I'm about to fly through it. This is such a special coastline. It has everything to offer, and uh, I, just, I just wanted to share it with you guys today. Traffic again, Fox Shots on a left downwind for runway 31, full stop. Okay, I asked a few of you guys to ask me a few questions on Instagram relating to aviation, but I pretty much knew what all these questions were gonna be. So let's just rapid fire into a few of them before getting on to what is my favorite part of this video. What are the expenses when it comes to owning this aircraft? Now that was one that I was expecting. A lot of people messaged me going, how are you able to do this? What was the cost of it? Are you crazy? Why did you buy an airplane? Let me explain it in the best way that I possibly can. This aircraft behind me is at the moment an appreciating asset. I'm not losing any money by owning this aircraft. However, if I was to rent one, we're talking somewhere in the region of about $100, $120 an hour to fly these airplanes. Whereas for me right now, the fuel cost just to fly one hour is about 20 US dollars. So to rent one, I would never fly as much as if I was just to own one in the first place. Plus, to be honest with you, this plane has probably gone up in value since the time that I purchased it. What are the costs involved to owning an aircraft? Hangarage, insurance, the fuel cost, and the maintenance costs. That's your basic overview with a couple of other fees here and there that need to be paid. What is my hangarage cost? Well, as you can see, I share it with another aircraft. The cost is 90 US dollars a month. As I was a brand new pilot at the time of owning this aircraft, when I say brand new, I mean like really, really brand new. I had not had many hours of flying a fixed wing, and so as a result, my insurance was quite high. I paid a once-off yearly cost of my airplane for insurance, which comes to a total of 1,200 US dollars. That is one of the larger expenses that I have with this aircraft, is just insuring it on an annual basis. My yearly maintenance costs are not that much more, or in fact have been less than what my car of my Land Rover Defender is, sitting at around 460 US dollars a year for maintenance. As previously mentioned, one hour flying is about 20 US dollars worth of fuel, if not less than that, because it's actually more economical than what we plan for. And as a result, to run this aircraft is not a lot more than a car. It just made sense. Another main question, yachts or planes? Now let me explain, I'm not replacing either one with any of them. In order to get on these yachts, I have to send hours and hours worth of proposals and make phone calls and fly across the planet. To come and fly this airplane, I can drive a 10 minute drive up the road, slide open these hangar doors, get in the aircraft and fly anywhere in this country. And that to me is the most freeing feeling I've ever had in my life. 
I plan on combining those two so that when I'm abroad, I'm making epic yachting content around the world. And when I'm back here in South Africa, I'm flying in this beautiful bush plane in this unbelievable coast. I'm sitting on somewhere around 85 hours for those that are asking me how many hours I have. So I'm still in the very much in the infancy of my license, but I'm loving it more than you could possibly imagine. And I'm racking up the hours really quickly. Jack Duthie wants to know if I'm his best friend. Okay, that is a very quick overview. I don't know how many of you guys are interested in aviation and planes, and so as a result, I'm gonna move on to my favorite part of this video, which is a little collection of content that I've captured with some of the people that I've taken in my plane since owning it. Thanks for watching, smash that subscribe button. Let me know what you thought of this video and Skillshare, thank you for sponsoring this episode. This is very low. Oh, good grief. Good morning, Dex. Good morning. Welcome to 1,700 foot above one of the most beautiful little coastal towns in the world that we call home. Dude, that's so epic. <laughs> gonna be straight into the sun, so I'm gonna probably open this door so I can see. <laughs> you feel bumps? It's not me, it's the runway. <laughs> Fun, I had my last sip of water ever. <laughs> and we're flying early. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, this valley is filled with fog and the sun is rising. Oh my good grief. This is ridiculous. Look at this view though, what? Oh my god. How beautiful is the place where we grab? Oh, it's ridiculous. They're like my favorite thing in the whole world. Sick to see from above, eh? Like sick for trout. 